All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome once again to Empowering Morning Conversations, session number 334. And uh, to initiate new members and tell them what we are doing, I'm handing it over to Neeti. Neeti, would you please tell all the newcomers what is the Empowering Morning Conversation? Why are we here? And quickly take them through the gratitude exercise also. Over to you. Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to session 344 of EMC. Uh, wonderful, this is a wonderful journey of a lot of realizations, a lot of growth, a lot of achievements. Uh, we come here to together find uh, work around our ways to move from our default mode to our create mode, from our mode of uh, regrets, complaints, uh, inhibitions, apprehensions, um, from the mode of having doubts, low self-esteem, to moving to a uh, create mode where we are positive, we are possibility seekers, we look for opportunities, we uh, adopt new opportunities to grow in life, to achieve more in life. So the main purpose here is um, we are able to shed the daily negativity that we pick up from the environment and from people around us. And we are uh, able to remain uninfluenced by all that negativity, or we are able to shed that negativity and move towards positivity, positivity on a daily basis. It's a daily dose. It's a daily uh, practice of moving another step towards uh, create mode. Having said that, uh, yes, the session calls for everybody's sharing, but before the sharings today, we will be going through the uh, gratitude exercise. So uh, I would encourage all of you to uh, switch on your cameras, sit back in a relaxed position, close your eyes, take a deep breath, let go and relax. Take another deep breath, let go, and relax. Another deep breath, let go and relax. The purpose of this gratitude exercise is we take this opportunity to thank, beginning with our body parts, thanking each body part for their unconditional support from our birth right up to now. Take your attention to your feet, <clears throat> to the sole of your feet, the top of your feet, the fingers, the big toe. Express your gratitude. Your feet take you everywhere you want. They bear the entire weight of the body without complaining. Express your full gratitude towards your feet. Moving up to your ankles expressing gratitude to your ankles, up to the calves, and coming to the knees, the knee joint, expressing gratitude for all their support, making walking easier. Moving up to the thighs by the femur bone, to the genital region and the pelvic region, expressing gratitude to each part and to the internal organs in the body, all your large intestines, small intestines, keep expressing your gratitude and keep moving up, express your gratitude to the liver, the stomach, move up slowly to the lungs that help you breathe, breathe in all the oxygen and positivity and breathe out all the negativity. Express gratitude to your heart that beats unconditionally, pumping all the oxygenated blood through to your body. coming up to your chest, 
and your shoulders. Expressing gratitude to your shoulders. Now move your attention to your fingertips. These are your touch points that help you feel whatever surface you are touching, that help you do your work. Express gratitude to your fingertips, your nails, your fingers, every joint in the fingers that makes the fingers bend and hold. To your wrist, Expressing gratitude to your entire arms, the length of your arms via the elbow joint back up to the shoulder. And from the shoulder, going up into the neck and the throat region, expressing gratitude to your voice box, the throat, the entire mouth, internal part of the mouth, your teeth, your tongue the salivary glands, expressing gratitude to your lips, your nose, your eyes that help you see this world. Express gratitude to your ears that are taking in all the sounds and the voices and directions. Your forehead, the top of your head. Take a moment longer to express gratitude once again to the entire body, each organ, each muscle, each cell, all the bones. Once you finish expressing gratitude to your body and body parts, bring into focus your parents, expressing gratitude towards them. They've brought you into this world. They've given you an upbringing. They've made it possible for you to live the life that you live today. Express gratitude to all your near and dear ones, your family, your friends, your colleagues. Express gratitude to your immediate family for all their support, for their presence in your daily life. Express gratitude to your support staff at home and at office, for they make our functionings easier. Express gratitude to every person who comes into your life on a daily basis, every person who exchanges a glance and a smile with you. Take a moment and express gratitude to this EMC forum and our gratitude and thanks to Sudhir Sir. Our gratitude to each and every member for their support and their presence here. Express gratitude to whoever else that you would like to. Also express gratitude to those people you cannot recall at the moment, but you know they have touched your lives in some way. And most of all, express gratitude to the Supreme for filling your life with all the big and small joys, the learnings, filling your home with the giggles of children and the play with the little pets that you have at home. Express gratitude to the Supreme for all the creativity around you and for giving you the ability to express this gratitude to his creations. Take a moment and complete your gratitude to the Supreme. And when you're ready, rub your hands, massage your face, and you can open your eyes. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Niti, for taking everybody through that. And I wonder how people are feeling having come out of this exercise on being grateful. I, for one, am always amazed at how much I have in my life. So doing the gratitude exercise actually makes me feel, wow, there is so much abundance in my life. So don't you find it strange that we are running after abundance, even though there is enough abundance in our life. I mean, we have unlimited resources. Everything belongs to us. Everything at the level of energy, all that we need to do is allow ourselves to be. All that we need to do is get out of this world of you, me, I, you, mera, tera, right, wrong, good, bad. So can you imagine, we keep talking about stop judging yourself, stop judging others. Now what will become possible? How much gratitude will you start experiencing when you stop judging? Or does judgment stop you from being grateful? So let's look at what happens that when, when we get into a state of judging, Right? Are we not limiting ourselves and our awareness to that which we are judging? So when we are judging, does it allow us to see everything else that is there? I mean, just take one relationship in which you might be judging. Okay? Now, if you are not happy or if you are not satisfied in that relationship, could it have something to do with the fact that you are judging? So even we will even judge that. I'm right to judge. So and so is like this. So I can judge. So I'm not getting into, you know, whether it's right or wrong, because judging is always thinking right or wrong, good and bad, agree or not agree. I'm saying when we are in a state of judgment, what is it that we will never be aware of? What else may be present over there? what other possibilities might be present over there and you will never see them because you can only see that which you are judging. Okay? So, everybody's got some judgment going on in some relationship or the other, right? Now, I want you to look at that relationship, right? And see that the fact that you are judging something makes you blind to other things that may be also present. The question is clear. If you're not clear, you can ask me. And if the question is clear, think about the relationships that you have where there is judgment present. Right? <clears throat> so if, let's say you are judging somebody. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> ready, Garu. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, as a parent, I always judge my children, sir. Okay. You do. So the rest of the question? Because I have expectations from them. I am not asking you why you are judging them. I'm saying that when you are judging somebody, what is it about them that will be invisible to you? There are many things about a person, right? <clears throat> Maybe their core competency or core strength. Yeah, so here also you are using the word maybe. <laughs> Did you notice that your attention gets, you remember I keep telling you the problem in life is our attention gets fixed on the wrong things, right? <clears throat> so when you are judging someone, where is your attention? On something which you don't like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? And when your attention is getting fixed on something that you don't like, will that be okay for you or will you be resisting that situation? I'll be resisting always, sir. Right. So when you're resisting that situation, 
the other parts of that person's personality, something unique, something beautiful, something magnificent, you will never be able to see yes, that. Sir. Yes, sir. You yes. know, so it will always be, ah, they have some good qualities also. I'm sure they must be having. You know, it's that kind of a perception about that person you have. Because every time they come in front of you, you are only seeing that person whom you are judging for whatever qualities you don't like. No, sir. And even in the judging, have you noticed one thing? You, if you are judging someone, you can judge them uh, in a positive way also, no? But that's also judgment, agreed. So if you're judging someone and you see all the good things in that person only, that is also okay. So the question is that when I'm judging someone, what is it that I will be not aware of? I will only be aware of more those things which I'm judging. Now, what will I be relating with? Like, you know, in a relationship also, when you meet someone and you're thinking, wow, what a nice person he is, then you will relate to him in that way. True. But if you meet someone and your judgment is, Are Baba, he can never do anything correct, right? Then how are you going to be relating with that person? Okay. Now, when I have a certain type of relationship with that person, what do you think you're going to get back from that person? Because as you give, so you receive, right? Correct, sir. Mostly negative vibrations. So you're going to get back that and then your judgment will become even more stronger, no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like this only. True. Great. Thank you very much for sharing. So now, question always is, what else is possible? So here is a small clearing for everybody. What energy, space and consciousness can I be that would allow me to drop all judgments and have more awareness of things and everything that is times a godzillion, will I destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So each and every person on this call, I want you to think about a relationship or relationships where you are judging or where you are you know, the relationship is not up to your expectations, let us say. So what judgment is there that does not allow you to have this wonderful relationship that it can be? See, every relationship can be a wonderful relationship, isn't it? So what judgment is there that's not allowing you to have that relationship be the wonderful relationship that you'd like it to be? So it's a difficult question to answer. Sir, can you repeat the question again? Uh -huh. I will ask Kunan to repeat the question so that I know that he also got it correctly. Kunan, can you repeat the question? Yes, sir. In, uh, in our relationship, in all our relationship, what exactly we do judge in other person, which stops us to build the relationship, what exactly it should be? Hmm. So let me expand on it. You take any relationship where you are not very happy in the quality of that relationship and find out what judgment do you have that's not allowing you to have that relationship be a wonderful relationship. So Kunen had raised his hands first, so we will ask him to share. Yeah, normally, sir, uh, in my workplace, I always have some expectation of or from the person to behave or respond or act in a certain manner. 
to get the best result. And I also I always judge that this person is like this, and uh, he will not listen to me. Means whatever I am expecting him to do, act, behave in a certain manner, he is not doing. So since he is not listening to me, I don't want to be associated or like him. And then I feel sort of disconnection. Yeah, you do. So what is it that you'll never be aware of? Yeah, I will never be aware there three, of... There are three judgments. Can you notice that he doesn't do things the way I want him to do it? He doesn't listen to me. And people who don't listen to me, I don't like them. Right? So you will... What is it about the person that you will see? You will not see anything else about that person. You will only see those things which you have not liked na? in your judgment. So, you have not like it, it will show you. Yes, sir. but the person, the personality, the attributes, the character is like that only. So, so where is the allowance then? You remember the five elements of a wonderful relationship? Yes, sir. So, is there honor? No. Is there trust? No. Is there allowance? No. Is there gratitude? No. Is there vulnerability? Absolutely no. But if it's there from my side, will the person become different? I don't know that. I'm The question you should be asking yourself is, when I stop judging that person, yeah. What other possibilities will show up? In the present situation, there is only one possibility that will show up. That he'll keep on messing up things, he will keep on doing things that you don't like. And you'll keep on getting angry and eventually you might sack him also. I mean, even, if, even, even if he has some things which make him a good resource, you'll not be able to utilize those things. Now, as a boss, you are a facilitator or you are a judger. You know, it is your job to facilitate him to perform. Right? Now, your judgment is not allowing that facilitation to take place. Na? So, suppose you're thinking, Ye meri baat kabhi hi nahi. can you coach him? Can you train him? See, when I'm, the question is very simple. When you are judging someone, will you have total awareness of that person or you will have only a lopsided view of that person? Our judgment is going to be a filter through which we are going to look at that person. Na? A judgment has already told us that this is a bad person. He doesn't have any benefit to coach him. He doesn't have any benefit on the other hand, if you're evaluating him, you will say, I want performance X from him. What will it, what will it take for him to be able to give that performance? Your judging is saying he will perform only if he does the things in the way I am telling him to do it. Your judging is saying that that fellow has not got the brains to find out the right way to do it. So he has to do the way I'm telling him only. Right? And even if, look, maybe out of years of experience, you have learned what is the right way to do the things. Agreed. So you are telling him, okay, beta, it taken me 10 years to learn this. You learn from me. Right? So are you going to be able to relate with that person and find out, okay, that fellow also got brain. That fellow also understands that Mr. Kunen sir has more experience. So if he's telling me it is easy for me if I follow his guidance, right? Itni to buddhi hoti hai logo mein. So if he's not doing that, what is the problem that he's facing where I can help him to overcome? You know, 
इफ यू आर नॉट जजिंग यू विल बी मोर ओपन टू फाइंडिंग आउट कि भाई इसकी प्रॉब्लम क्या है वाई इज ही नॉट एबल टू डू इट बिफोर जब एक सोल्यूशन मैं दे रहा हूं किसी को वाई इज ही नॉट एबल टू फॉलो दैट एंड यू मे डिस्कवर दैट देर इज सर्टन मे बी लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग मे बी ही इज नॉट एबल टू हियर यू प्रॉपरली मे बी सो फ्राइटन ऑफ यू बिकॉज यू सी वॉट हैपन्स वेन अ सीनियर इज जजिंग अ जूनियर दे ऑलवेज कम टू नो you know so when they come in front of you they are having a little nervousness and you know when nervousness is there brain number 1 and brain number 2 are working brain number this which is important is not working you know that can you see how the judging of someone can trigger it off like even as a parent if you are judging your child every time he is in your presence he is picking up that judgment because you know that people can unconsciously pick up your thoughts and emotions when he picks it up he gets into the danger mode when he gets into the danger mode he is not really listening his brain is not working so can you facilitate it see a lot of times you will be thinking i have not scolded him i have not told him anything why is he getting nervous with me because the judgment is getting communicated anyway na like sometimes have you noticed somebody comes to you and your first thought is ki abhi ye gadha kyun aaya hai mere paas am i making some sense here yes sir and also so, sir other for everybody ki if you have a judgment about someone how it is limiting you in that relationship how many avenues are getting blocked because of our judgment and like you are a boss of the people your job is to evaluate the performance your job is to get the right performance will it be facilitated by your judgment or it will become an obstacle in the facilitation that's what you have to look at thank you so much for bringing that one very much just take one sir other thought also come during the process that uh, though i feel that i can uh, help but i feel that i have to put extra efforts with this person Yeah, and, maybe. Uh, You're right. And then I give up. That why shall I waste my time? Just let it be like that. So now this is very interesting. You remember that discouragement session that we had. So you are in a state of discouragement with this person. Neither will you sack him, nor will you make full use of him. And you are now even if you sack him. you are operating on a guarantee that the next fellow who comes will be better than this guy because when we selected this guy he looked like a good guy only have you noticed that sometimes we are even sitting on the interview panel when these people are selected and later on we are thinking are baba i made a mistake selecting this guy See, even if you had this trait, okay, useless fellow, sack him. Then also, it's okay. If if you ask me, it's not okay. But I'm saying, all right, let's agree. Okay, चलो ठीक है नहीं अच्छा है तो निकाल दो उसको. But वो भी नहीं करेंगे ना. So we have given up on someone in our mind, but we are keeping them around. Now, if the fellow is a member of your family, I can still understand that, you know. You cannot kick out people from your family. वहाँ पे भी तो हम यही करते हैं ना. We've given up on some people in the family. We don't want anything to do with them. But still, there we are keeping them around. And I ask you, why are you keeping them around? You'll say they are family. If they are family, तो फिर निभाओ ना. निभानी भी नहीं है. रखना भी है पास में. फिर क्या फ़ायदा? but we end up doing this everybody does that with somebody or the other so if you just see the culprit will be the starting point it could be their judgment also sometimes but right now i'm not talking to them i'm talking to you so wherever there is a relationship which is not working the way i wanted to right let me find out what is the judgment that i'm having right and that judgment that i am having in which way it is limiting me in getting those five elements in place it is limiting me from what 
honor it is limiting me from trust it is limiting me from allowance it is limiting me from being great, grateful limiting me from being vulnerable no ye vulnerable mein to kabhi ye bhi bol dega aadmi yaar maine sab kuch try kar liya i have tried everything with you yaar what should i do with you how can i help you mere ko to samajh mein nahi aa raha hai bhai maine to haar gaya tere se you know when you are vulnerable you will be able to say that to that person bhaiya main to haar gaya tere se तू बता क्या करू तू ही बता दे मैं क्या करूं तेरे साथ कैन यू से दैट टू अ जूनियर वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू वेबल यू कैन से इट कि बेटा आई एम ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू बट आर की बात बाबा ने यू ओनली टेल मी व्हाट टू डू सी डू यू नोटिस इट मेक्स इट इजी फॉर यू आल्सो व्हेन वी आर ओपन एंड वेलनरेबल and we don't have to maintain that pose you know i am the boss i am the father or lad you know it's so much easier to get through to those people kyunki ek deewar to giri na patience kafi chahiye sir to awareness ke sath to patience aayi jayegi na hmm see when you are aware you will notice ke ha now where, what is not what is impatient that you start getting irritated right I mean, how do you know that you're being impatient? See, again, impatience probably linked to judgment also, na? Because judgment says it should be done. He should have understood in this five minutes I'm spending on this fellow. The idiot is not understanding, right? If I was there, I would have understood it instantly. See, we have this yardstick, na? We think that everybody is like us. I have this problem sometimes. I I pick up things very fast, you know. Somebody tells me once, "Fatak, I'll get it." So if somebody tells me the same thing four times, I'm getting irritated with them. Especially with my financial advisor, I'm paying him good money. Very good guy, you know. But he's one of those fellows who will explain like he's explaining to a baby, you know. So I'm thinking, "Yar, please, I got it." Sometimes I tell him also, "Okay, yar, Kamlesh, I've understood it." he won't even hear what i'm saying you know i'm saying i've understood it he'll go on talking no no it's like this it's like the lateral shift is like this flara like this like this like this i said yaar kamlesh i've understood it now i know i'm getting impatient then i also know i'm judging now i accept expect him to be antaryani to read my brain and find out if sukdeepak has understood he's not knowing that i've understood no so how many ways this drama happens interesting people we are no sometimes we can make good comedy film out of it <laughs> isko kehte hain making life difficult for ourselves apne pair mein kulhadi marna but we do it all the time yes ready karu we wanted to say something thank you sir got it uh, sir i just want to share with uh, practice and awareness so we can work in all the relationships uh and where uh, as uh, mr kunain said we need lot of patience to work with if you want to have good relationship with all the people around you if you drop the judgment you know if you have the awareness you will always know your judging right if you have the awareness you will have your you will know your judging awareness will also say ke boss <clears throat> see especially if you're dealing with your own uh, children <clears throat> if say boss they are carrying my genes only baba <clears throat> so they cannot go wrong they may be getting straight here and there maybe they are taking more time here and there but they are my children they are not going to go wrong i am there to make sure and maybe you can start seeing that they have certain qualities that you don't have <clears throat> right yes sir see the problem with judging is that we are judging everybody using our own frame no yeah our frame of reference is like what i am like this i have learned like this i have learned the hard way so they should also be like this but they are not you so they are unique human beings right yes sir can i give be in allowance and say hello this is the unique creation i have only created what a wonderful magnificent extraordinary person i have created 
Now the person wants to use their wings and fly. And my fear and my love is only stopping me from letting them fly. So they are resenting me. And I don't like that. And I think that they don't respect me because they are doing like that. See how many judgments are there. If they do like that, it means they don't respect me. If they do like that, it means they don't love me. So I used to think for a long time, you know, if my wife is getting angry with me, that means she doesn't love me. I found out later on, Are Baba, because she loves me, she gets angry. Like Sagar will say, my papa is always judging me, so he doesn't love me. But maybe it's the other way around. Because they love you, they're getting angry with you. But do you notice how this judgment drama is going on? How much we are losing out on life because of the judgment drama? Thank you, Reddy Garu. Everybody will agree that the impatience also problem. Yes, Mr. B3. Sir, uh, amazing, sir. Thank you very much. I want to take a minute uh, because I just want to share with you a kind of a coincidence where I was just going through some of our earlier uh, teachings from you and our observation. Today, I land up on that kind of a judgment where you are starting the subject. I would like to share that one minute they think uh, one, one picture. Uh, can I, sir? Can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, hurry up, hurry up. Just, just, okay. You want to show a picture? Huh? Just a second. This is, see, uh, sorry for my poor handwriting, if you able to see that. Uh, it is too small. You only read it in the book. You put the on those points and yeah. <laughs> yeah actually sir what i written is judgment there is always experience like. happen sorry sir i'm reading it out judgment correct, correct. like dislike attachment aversion reaction go down no learning only reaction experience experience, from experience directly opportunity okay. to become a better version real learning then go down Life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. Correct. I like the way you describe the sequence. Actually, one, one distinction I want to add here, sir. Uh, when we talk about judgment, we always say that uh, I don't like uh, this is because, this is because. <clears throat> Sometimes the likes also judgment. Don't when... Absolutely. <laughs> because you see that when you have a like, you expect them to live up to that always. Exactly, sir. That's a big problem. Thank you very much. That's a great, great info. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I remember once I was uh, sharing with a friend of mine and uh, about, you know, what my ideas of a lady is supposed to be, good wife, you know. So that lady told me, Sukhdeepak, your wife must be finding very hard to live with you. I said, why? I respect her a lot. She says, you know, the way you have made a vision of a woman like this angel or a goddess, she'll have to always live according to your expectation of that. What a difficult thing it is. How can she live with you? I said, I so much but that's also judgment na? when I see, oh, you should be like that, the exalted person like a Devi all the time. Yes, ma'am. We got our own Devi here. Geeta, Geeta Ji. Go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, I just think that judgment comes naturally uh, with the behavior of that person. Like I have two neighbors. Right side neighbor is good, means uh, polite and we exchange gifts and sweets on special days. And left side neighbor is a bit rude and bit, I should say, means not good. So how can I take both of them in the same way? Means I wish the neighbor who is on my right side, but I avoid means the neighbor who is my left side because yes, you, you're looking at certain characteristics of theirs and making a judgment out of it okay it's your judgment it doesn't mean they are bad people yes, i'll give yes. you an example practical for my life you remember i've shared with you, you all know my late wife when she got uh, stage four cancer and all that 
Now there is a neighbor who used to live in our opposite. Okay. And very nice people. But for some reason, my wife has labeled them as naughty people. Bob Ghamandi Logan, Tamiz For some strange reason, we are staying in that house. By that time, these people had been there for 10 years. No contact whatsoever. Hello, hello, we hoti thi to judgment hi pass hoti thi, you know. Kya dekha? Kya sip dekh rahi thi mere ko? Okay. I used to say, he seems like a good person. Why don't you give a chance? No, no, no. Because people have their own yardstick for judging. Ne, ki yes, I am, you yes, I am. Now, when she got this cancer and the moment that lady came to know, you know, she came and didi, aapko kya ho gaya hai? And the way she did seva of my wife, you cannot even believe it, you know. Every day, morning, evening, she's sending fresh juice. You know, wo jo hand pressed hota hai and so much this and that and the other. And then Anjali said, you know, I was wrong about her. She's not like that at all. You follow? Yes. Ek ne ek judgment bana di, aur usme, us mein, har ek negative cheez hi nazar aati thi. Phir ek aur action ne sab kuch pasa palat diya. And it's not happened once, it's happened a thousand times in life. You know, just because we feel like when I was younger, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, you know, how these Haryana people talk. Yes. Right? It's a natural, they talk like that only. Yes. I don't want anything to do. But I was like, 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 I so, I wanted to ask you that my left side neighbor is exactly a jat, Haryana mein jat. So, means they are so rude that if they even if their parking slot is lying empty and some guest comes and they park by mistake, by mistake, they immediately ring the bell and start talking very rudely. So, hi, how can I be polite to them? How can I be so... I say you be polite to them. I didn't say anything. I just said, if you dropped your... See, when you have a judgment about someone, you will only see what you don't like. No? Yes. Or agar aapka, suppose you have a positive judgment about someone, then you will only see what you like. So, even though you may be liking them, there may be 50 things about them which are not okay, you will be blind to that. Similarly, these people whom you don't like because you judge them like that, there may be 50 about things about them which may be wonderful also, but you don't know. Maybe. Just like you get uh, angry when somebody, so somebody's judgment is that's their judgment. no? So at that time they get irritated, impatient, or jo mu me aya bol diya. This is what impatient people do. Later on they regretted yar pyar se bhi bol sakte the. Right? So maybe they don't regret even because they always behave like that. All all this may be our judgment. I'm saying if you dropped your judgment, what sir, will be possible? Ye socho. Judgment drop kar de to sir hamara behavior sabhi ke sath same ho jayega. To badhiya hai na? तो सर ऐसा होता तो नहीं है ना जो अच्छा है उसी के साथ हम अच्छा कर पाते हैं हां वो अच्छा डिफॉल्ट मोड है ना वही तो हम कह रहे हैं डिफॉल्ट मोड में हम ऐसे ही होते हैं तो मैं उनके साथ भी उतना अच्छा बिहेव करूं मतलब अपना बिहेवियर किसी की वजह से क्यों चेंज करते हो आप मुझे बताओ आपका बिहेवियर कैसा होगा हाउ योर बिहेवियर इज गोइंग टू बी इज गोइंग टू बी डिसाइडेड बाय समबडी एल्स so my no. behavior is like that. If somebody is good to me, I'm good to them. If they are not good to me, I'm not good to them at all. We have also been But the realization is coming. So much so that the fellow who was so bad to me, you can say, that I was Yes. And I was very polite with him. Why? Because I'm not judging only one way, no? See, be in the question. Don't jump to conclusions. You ask yourself a question. If I drop my judgment, what will become possible? See, one thing is for sure, you have realized that. If I drop my judgment, I will behave nicely with everybody. Yes, exactly. Good. 
जैसा करोगे वैसा भरोगे आज नहीं तो कल आपका जो सद व्यवहार होगा इन लोगों के साथ उनको भी रियलाइज होगा ना हम उनको आदत पड़ी हुई है दे हैव दिस हैबिट दैट व्हेन दे डू बदमीजी विद समवन अदर पीपल्स बिहेवियर चेंजेस दे रिएक्ट सो दे से देखा सब सहले ऐसे ही होते दैट्स व्हाट दे थिंक नाउ व्हेन यू आर बिहेविंग यू आर नॉट इफेक्टेड बाय देयर बिहेवियर सी अलाउंस मींस कुत्ता भौंकेगा म्याऊ म्याऊ नहीं करेगा दैट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ अलाउंस अलाउंस मींस कि ये लोग ऐसे ही हैं इनकी परवरिश ऐसे ही है ये ऐसे बिहेव करते हैं बट द मोमेंट वी स्टार्ट पुटिंग अच्छा बुरा ये भले लोग हैं ये भ्रष्ट लोग हैं फिर वी आर गेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंस मोर ना उनको क्या फर्क पड़ता है आप जो मर्जी करते रहो यू फील बैड और गुड दे डोंट केयर इन एनी केस बट यू केयर ना यस सर मुझे ही बताओ मैं क्यों किसी को अनुमति दू कि मेरा मूड खराब करे सर मेरा मतलब लेकिन अगर मुझे लगे ना जैसे दो तीन महीने पांच छह महीने तक ही इज ऑलवेज रूड लाइक नॉट गुड टू मी देन आई ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज मीन आई विदिकलीयर and yes. you are becoming like that person now where is your judgment now if you become like that person then you are also that person na tum bhi waisi ho gayi fir to cannot hear you ma'am you have muted yourself sir i withdraw myself means from that person means main usko wish karna band kar dungi usko thoda ignore kar dungi avoid kar dungi this is the way i become right and do you like it याद है कि जैसे आपके जजमेंट में कुछ घर वाले लोग भी खड़े नहीं उतरते थे याद है ना फिर वो तब भी आप शेल में चली जाती थी अब वो कुछ बदला कि नहीं क्योंकि आजकल कुछ बदले बदले से नजर आ रहे हो कुछ तो बदला है आप नोटिस करोगे कि जब आपका जजमेंट छोड़ा आपने तो और संभावनाएं सामने आई यू नो व्हेन यू ड्रॉप जजमेंट्स अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज कैन शो अप यस आई एम नॉट गोइंग एंड सेइंग यू बिकम गांधी जी एंड गो एंड प्यार बांटते चलो आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट बट समबडी बट इफ समबडी कैन मेक यू नो इफ समबडीज बिहेवियर कैन अपसेट यू देन यू आर नॉट इन कंट्रोल नो अगर एक शुद्ध मनुष्य है इफ दे कैन रिमेन शुद्ध व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद दैट so be in the question what energy space and consciousness can i be now this is a good clearing i'm doing for everybody what energy space and consciousness can i be that would allow me to drop judgments right and everything that is times of god zillion will i destroy and uncreate it all right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys and beyond so be in that state let's see what happens and thank you for asking this question geet ji many people are getting clear because of this thank you sir i thought it is just with me <laughs> no 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 ye to kai log bolte nahi hai it doesn't mean ke ye sawal nahi hai unke liye and yes mr khunain shahidi yes, sir ek purani cheez yaad aa gayi just uh, a statement is say that uh, zindagi aasan nahi hoti hai use aasan banana padta hai geet ji ke liye कुछ बर्दाश्त करके कुछ सब्र करके और कुछ नजरअंदाज करके नजरअंदाजी ऑफ सम पीपल नजरअंदाजी नजरअंदाज करने का सबसे इजी तरीका क्या है बी अवेयर दैट यू आर जजिंग एंड ड्रॉप द जजमेंट तो नजरअंदाज हो जाएगा अदरवाइज इट इज बरिंग दैड इन दैंड वाला अप्रोच तो आपने तो शायरी सुनाई दी अब कुलदीप जी को भी सुनानी पड़ेगी उससे पहले मिस्टर सागर आचार्य की बात सुननी पड़ेगी यस मिस्टर आचार्य गुड टू सी यू बैक आफ्टर मच एब्सेंस टुडे मॉर्निंग ओनली आई वाज थिंकिंग अबाउट यू कि किधर चला गया हमारा सागर 
Yes, sir, you sir. told him uh, he will talk to his father. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sagar, you want to say something? Please do. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I I have many questions, but uh, I want to speak now. Uh, I want to ask a question, which is related to me now. Uh, that uh, 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 that if if somebody is harming you or at that time uh, his his or behavior is harming you, at that time what uh, we can we can go and talk to them why you are doing this and uh, is is it not good, sir? That uh, if somebody's behavior is harming me and I, I go and speak to him politely that why you are doing this or you know, so it, it is not good or it is good or bad. <laughs> I mean, your question, let me see if I, you're saying that if somebody's behavior is harming you, it is harming you, bad, how, it is upsetting you, it is annoying you, it is irritating you, what's happening? Being jealous, sir, uh, you know, uh, I am... Judgment only, na? How do you know he's being jealous? Because of his behavior. Yeah, so what is the behavior? You tell me that. Uh, that uh, I am, you know, he, uh, I am here in this Osu ashram and uh, I'm dating, uh, means dating one girl and he also like her and uh, she's much older than me and um, he's much older than me also, that guy. And... Okay. Uh, because of that. No, but I don't get it. You like someone, he also likes someone. So, And I am dating I am dating her because of that. Ah. You are getting hurt because he likes someone you also like. Why? Did he have some... Did he promise you that he will not like the person that you like? <laughs> no, he did not promise me, but uh, I, am, I think he is getting jealous. Is he a friend of yours? He's, he's, he's like my father. <laughs> no, is he a friend of yours? Friend, friend, yes. Yeah. So you are, now he, you think that he's fond of that girl in the same way like you are fond of her. Yes. Just, just, you know, you are fond of her in a romantic way, right? Right. And you think that he is also fond of her in a romantic way? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> and how do you know that? God <laughs> gave you some meter to find out that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I know this. So who's getting jealous? He is getting jealous or you are getting jealous? I am also. Exactly. Yeah. But you notice there is a judgment over there. Yes, sir. What is the judgment? If I like this girl, he should not like her. Why? Why? Anybody can like a person, no? You have yes. some money on that. Ah, but if you are in a committed relationship with that person, you can talk to that person and see okay, why are you giving so much of bhav to that chap when you are in a relationship with me. Does the girl even know that you are in love with her? Or you like her? God don't know that. Uh, God don't know. God know that I like her. I everything is nice. But, but have uh, you got a committed relationship with her? No, not committed. Just so, then, so if that person, gentleman, is maybe friendly with her, right? Like a mentor, also it could be. And you are judging. Yeah. The only person you can talk to on this, because that fellow, if you tell him, he can also say, na, hello, what is it to you? Uh -huh. I like that person also. So, kya karega? Uh -huh. you can request him, ke, sir, aap to bade ho, mujhe chance de do. Aap <laughs> chance you can do that. You can try it out. Say, sir, aap young girl ki let me, zindagi mat barbaad karo, mujhe karne do barbaad. <laughs> I'm saying in a humorous way, but you know something. This is this judgment is going to stop you in your relationship. 
with that girl because you don't know whether she has got feelings for you you don't know whether she's got feelings for him and you are making yourself unnecessary getting upset about it or if that fellow is must be a nice chap only that gentleman is elderly chap so you can go and tell him ke sir you know i am very fond of this girl you know please help me then you will come to know the truth no right sir but you are hesitating because of your judgment you are not talking to him you are not talking to her in your own mind you are making this story and getting upset with it correct that is what is happening no yes sir तो एक गाना था परेशा 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 सुना गाना परेशा 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 वो सुन लिया करो दिन में चार बार मैं परेशा परेशा कौन कर रहा है आपको परेशान सागर आचार्य सागर आचार्य को परेशान कर रहा है तो दोषी किसको मान रहा है एल्डरली जेंटलमैन को thank you sir thank you you need to take offline coaching from me many people have done that and they have won also but it will cost you money ye cheez free mein nahi dunga tumko beta okay i want to do sir i want to do sir i'm i'm seeking i am frustrating i am so many things is happening to you me so you see that movie honest. partner partner dekha tha movie salman khan wala partner Govinda also is there. Oh, sad song भी बजा रहे हैं चलो. Very funny movie. Same situation, one girl and two boys. Exactly. So then, the right mentor has to be hired. You know, it is nothing. You are wasting your time, Sagar. Yes. अपने effort जारी रखो. समझे? Forget about the other guy. You got advantage of youth. You got advantage of sweet smile, handsome personality, etc., etc. Only thing you need is boldness and confidence. There's an old saying in English: "Faint heart never won a fair lady." Buland wa dar kya? Buland irade wale log ki jeet hoti hai. So, Konen Sahab, how about one share on this topic? एक सागर के लिए के मैं खुद हैरान हूं मैं खुद हैरान हूं अपने सब्र की इंतहा देखकर मैं खुद हैरान हूं अपने सब्र की इंतहा देखकर तुमने याद करना छोड़ दिया मैंने इंतजार करना नहीं <laughs> तुमने याद करना छोड़ दिया मैंने इंतजार करना नहीं मैं खुद हैरान हूं अपने सब्र की इंतहा देखकर तो ये था जनाब हैव पेशेंस कीप ऑन एंजॉइंग ऑल द लाइफ विल कम टू यू विद ईज जॉय एंड ग्लोरी यस कुलदीप जी सर कहा है कि एक वो है जो बेहिसाब देता है एक वो है जो बेहिसाब देता है और एक हम है जो जपते भी हैं गिन गिन कर जपते भी यस कैन यू रिपीट दैट दिस इज सो ब्यूटीफुल एक वो है जो बेहिसाब देता है अनलिमिटेड और एक हम हैं जो जपते भी हैं गिन गिन जपते भी हैं गिन गिन अबेंडेंस इज ऑल फ्लोइंग ऑल राउंड ग्रेट फैंटास्टिक थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड ऑन दैट नोट वील क्लोज द सेशन फॉर टुडे एंड मीट यू टुमारो मॉर्निंग फॉर अनदर wonderful session of empowering morning conversations god bless you and keep you safe bye bye and god bless everyone
Stay blessed. Take care.